All right, this is uh, probably a week or so after the pond fix, but I want to show you guys what a seep is. And now I got a good example here of showing you that it's not a leak in the pond. So I had a little trickle of water where we normally look, okay? That old leak, you could see it cuts around here. And it winds around, all right? And it goes all the way down there. It made its own little creek over the years. All right, and so down here we have a little bit of moving water. You can see right there and right there. And my first thought was, oh great, she's popping open again, okay? But let me show you something here. This is a seat that I found there. You can see it's clearly running water. But right under this bush here, let me show you. Okay, right under this bush there, it actually gets wider there, and that's the water is clear from here go, here past it, which doesn't make sense because if the water's coming from up here and it gets wider, it should actually be slowing down. All right, so there you could see it turns clear. Well, that's the seep right in here. It's coming up out of the ground because if you look carefully right here, this is now leads up to the, the leak I fixed. Look here. There is no moving water here. And you see how it's oily and stagnant? Okay, so there is no moving water here from the leak that I fixed. But as soon as it hits... Right in this vicinity here, you get an immediate flow of water, and it's from here gone. It's it, from here past. It's all clear water because it's moving. So this is a ground seep, which on the base of old ponds. I mean, I'm not even on the base. I'm uh, oh boy, I'm 20 yards away from the base. But that's what I mean when I say a seep. It's actually a ground seep, but it's below the pond, so there is some pond water that's just basically permeated the groundwater. But those are pretty common in talking to my excavator friend on these old ponds.